All right, so your girl just now getting up. I just washed my face. When I say last night, I had all the intent to do this video, but I was out having a good time. Me and the Beyonce out just having a good time. That I'm literally about to do this video now. I literally just washed the face, washed the face, washed my makeup off my face. I'm about to put on my mask. I say my mask. My um, what is this? My Chanel cream and eye cream and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna sit down and do this video. Hi, woo to me. I'm Zoe Ray, Zoe Ray Artistry. And here on this channel, we talk about a little bit of fashion, wax and makeup, blogging from time to time, and whatever else I feel like talking about. Because today, baby, today discussion, I need my cousins. I need my I need my female cousins to, to, to listen. Wake up, drink your coffee, drink your tea. Hell, if you drink wine, it's five o'clock somewhere. Just, just come on in for this discussion, okay? All right, let me finish masking up my face, getting my face together. We're going to sit down on this big comfy green chair, and we're going to get into this. Deuces. Okay, ready? Action. Okay, I go by Zoe. Zoe Ray Artistry. All right, I am Zoe. Go by Zoe Ray Artistry. And All right, let's go. Action. Oh. <laughs> Action. All right, cause nah, I just need to get loose. I wish I had a glass of wine. All right, come on, let's let's get in here. Let's get in here. Now y'all already know how I feel when people be trying to. Play with my queens. We're we not going for it. So, what sparked this video over the weekend? Hell, over this week, there has been a lot of things about that girl, Brittany Garner, I guess, and how she quote unquote feel like how you're supposed to be submissive to your man and ladies in general agreeing to being submissive. To the point where she was saying she spoils him rotten and she just does everything. But I don't think people caught the key word when she said it's drowning and her friends be questioning her as if how y'all doing? As if something's like, you're not saying something right, sis. You're not telling the whole story. But that's him all day. That's, that's, that's her relationship. That's what she choose to do. I'm not here to talk about her relationship. Baby, do what you want to do. I'm here to talk about that word submissive. And why do people, or not people, why do girls get into this mindset that you have to be submissive to a man? First of all, let's go into the definition because I took my notes. Submissive. Ready to conform to the authority or the will of others. Ready to conform to authorities or will of others. Who the hell is we conforming to? And what authority? Your man should not feel like he's your goddamn police officer, your prisoner, your guard. Yes, he's supposed to protect you. That is one, yes. But to bow down and feel like, yes, daddy. Yes, yes, daddy. When, when, when do you want me to tie your shoe, daddy? When do you want me to cook for you? Who doing that? No, we're not doing that. Who's doing that? No. And then I'm not understanding or I don't understand people understand the word sub. Sub. The prefix of sub is under, beneath, below. You ain't about to make me feel need none of those. None of those. I'm sorry. Will not, cannot, I will allow not <laughs> to make no man make me feel underneath, under him, beneath him, or below him. Ladies, come on now. I don't even like the word submissive you if you ask me. I don't like that word. Like, think of subtraction. You're taking away all your worth, baby. You're taking away all your worth because of a man? Because of a man? Like, first of all, ladies, listen. There's nothing wrong with catering to your man. There's nothing wrong with catering to your man. There's nothing wrong with loving your man. But it has to be equal. 
you can't be sitting here doing all this and they doing nothing. They're making you feel underneath, beneath, or below. Why would you want to be in a relationship like that? Please elaborate. I, I just don't understand that. Now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with catering and loving and, and cherishing your man. Like, hell, you should do that. But you have to know how to love yourself first before you can do that to anyone else. You have to make sure you cherish and cater and love yourself first before you can do anything to another person. Baby, if you're out here and you're spending thousands of dollars, okay, instance, you're sitting here spending all your last dime on, um, what do men like? I don't know, uh, 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 some shoes, some red bottoms for him, but I ain't got no red bottoms from you. That ain't equaling. The math ain't mathing. So you go out here and spend your last dime for some red bottoms to make your man feel good and make your man look good. But what about you? Why don't you make yourself look good? Why don't you have a pair of red bottoms in your closet? It, 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 the math have to math up, baby. You can't be out here splurging on someone else. You can't be splurging on yourself. And then, nevertheless, make sure this man is splurging on you, too. If you're going to go out here and buy red bottoms from him, he better be buying red bottoms from you. If he's going to be out here doing things for, uh, you're going to be out here doing things for him, he better be doing the things for you. Vice versa. And if you know you can't afford no red bottles for him, damn it, don't buy no red bottles for him. You have to let him know. I can't afford these, but I love to give you these. They ain't red bottles, but they just as close. They're fly. I can hook them up. I can, I can get them together. I can make it look real good. Vice versa. If he say he can't afford no red bottles, but baby, here goes some Steve Madden or some... I don't know, eight souls or out those, baby, we gonna make it look good. That's what you should want. Both of each other complimenting each other. Both of each other uh, loving on each other, catering to each other, protecting each other, growing together. That's what you want. You want someone who's going to love them first. And yes, I'm going to say, you want somebody who's going to love them first because they're going to love you even better. And vice versa. Love yourself first so you can love that person even better. I don't know where we got in this society of you supposed to be submissive. Where y'all get? First of all, I've never even heard the word until social media, honestly. Call me crazy. Call me sad. Call me, call me whatever you want to call me. The word ain't been really translating until social media. And I don't know where we get to the point where we supposed to quote unquote be submissive to these men. Because let me tell you something, baby. Even if you are submissive to them, they still go out and dog you. They still go out and cheat on you. What we all need in a relationship are boundaries. They, <laughs> baby, it's called boundaries. It's called, look, we know each other's boundaries and we want to respect it. And if we can respect each other's boundaries, that is be a healthy relationship. If you have a boundary and a person don't respect that, that goes for man and woman, y'all ain't meant to be together from begin with. One, we all grow. We all change. We all don't think no more. What we used to think in our 20s, no longer is this in our 30s. What we used to do in our 30s, no longer is this in our 40s. But we set boundaries. The older we get, the more boundaries we have to start setting or maneuvering or changing. Because say if I used to like, hell, I used to like, I don't know, get my feet rubbed when I was in my 20s. But now I just feel like, ew, don't touch my feet. Like, don't touch my feet or I'm going to have a whole attitude. But that's where the boundaries come in at. Like, if you know I don't like my feet rubbed, then be respectful and don't rub my feet. Yes, you might like to be very touchy touchy and feeling my feet back when I'm in my twenties. But now I don't want my feet rub. Don't don't rub my feet. And this shouldn't even be an argument. It should be like, all right, babe, I know you don't like your feet rub, but at least let me rub your hands. Let me rub your back. Like things like that. It's called boundaries. This time this this submissive word. Throw it in the trash. Give it to somebody else. Hell. Don't don't look Submit it to your damn dog or something. I don't know, because dogs can't talk. Like, you got to pick up their poop. You got to pick up. You got to feed them. You got to take care of them. Because they don't talk. Be the masters of your dog, of your animal, of your pet. Don't be no goddamn submissive to no goddamn human ass being. No. That's belittling them. That's making them feel underneath, below, not worthy. Not saying your dog is unbelief and are not worthy because they are oh, pet lovers, but don't come bad at me. But y'all get my point. Like... Just don't do too much for a man that's not going to do 
the most for you. It should be equal. It should be equal love. It should be equal affection. It should be equal confidence. It should be equal um, support, supportship. I mean, supportiveness, supportship. It should be equal. Shouldn't nobody be above nobody. It should be here. And hell, if somebody grow, it should help me get right here with you. It should never be, I'm going to be right here and you're going to be right here. Never. Because it will never work. And if you go back to hear that girl's, um, whatever she said, sis said it's draining. She's drained. Baby, because you're not, you're you're doing too much. You're talking about you got healing power. Baby, you're not got healing power. You got weakness. You need to see a therapy because you're not healed. You so you're healing them, but you're not healing yourself. It, it's not equaling. Make the math, math, math. It has to math. Has, let the math be mathing. That's what I'm trying to say. It has to be together. It can't be subtracting because you're you're, you're subbing yourself, and we ain't about subbing. We're not about a seven. No, 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 no. So over the week, it was just really bothering me to see my queens agree to that. Like I did not agree to that. Like. I just didn't agree. So, leave your thoughts, your comments, anything un- uh, below. If you feel like you want to add on, if I miss something, please add on. Be respectful, y'all. Please be respectful in the comments. Um, But be honest. If you feel like you one of the chicks that's submissive, submiss on, baby. It's just not me. Me and my fiance have a mutual uh, uh, understanding. We set boundaries, healthy boundaries. We are in counseling now. You know, we both are growing. We are not perfect. Baby, I got an attitude on me, and he got one on him. We are both two copper coins that's very stubborn. So, things can get a little heated around here, but the fact that we know each other's level, and I know to give him five minutes, he knows to give me five minutes, it's called healthy boundaries. I'm not to, I'm not perfect patty to him, and he's not perfect patty to me. But we love each other equally. We would do and support each other equally. And that's all you want in a relationship. You don't want no perfect patty. Yes, yes, baby. Yes, yes, that You don't want that. Who wants that? Like, and, if a, and if a man wants that, he ain't right for you. He ain't right for you. Because for him to sit here and make you feel belittled, baby, he's not right for you. And I put it in this relationship. Look, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm about to get back on my back, back, back. Real passionate. Listen, I'm your girl, Zoe Ray Artistry. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time, y'all already know, Zoe loves you.